I'm gonna welcome back to Pokemon Emerald version in the last episode. We explored New Marvel and got the TM for Thunderbolt. Very good electric type move. Um, 95 power, 100% accuracy. And also caught our final team member, being Terence the Barboach. Um, with the good rod that we obtained. And we got the, uh, the good rod from the route that we're going to be exploring in this episode. So, you're going to need the TM for Surf, which... I'm gonna go teach the Terrence now. Uh, so there we go, we don't need a high gym slave anymore. Um, I'll probably teach one of my Pokemon like, um, maybe, yeah, Surf is literally the best high gym to this day, I'd say. Um, but it's really strange that Hariyama can learn Surf. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. Um, you know what? Snore or rest? I'll get rid of Snore because you need to use rest to Snore. We're gonna get rid of rest, but. No, it can be kind of useful, but Snore the move that only works if your Pokemon is asleep. So there we go. And uh, let's go. Route 118. And um, is where we're we exploring today. Um, so yeah, you're going to need to surf. And you are going to need to come here to beat the game. So back to progressing. And this is the guy that gives you the good rod. And with the good rod, you are able to catch a new Pokemon. And first, this camera crew is back. But the new Pokemon that you're able to catch with the good rod is on this route, being Carvana. Water dark type Pokemon. We saw Team Aqua have it a couple times. Um, but yeah, it's water dark type. Its defenses aren't all that great, but has very good attacking stats and speed. Base 120 base attack, 95 special attack, and 95 speed. This thing will be able to sweep. Um, against fire types and stuff so honestly yeah it's a good Pokemon but obviously we're not having the best defenses it can't take hits but yes if you're versing a fire type you shouldn't have much of a trouble um, but just now with him being um, dark type he is also going to be weak to bug and biting um, so yeah he's got quite a few weaknesses those that are just listed and grass and electric but yeah honestly I've used him before. He evolves at level 30 into Sharpedo. Um, being very fast. Like I just said, like those three stats. But yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, the Pokemon the able to catch on this route. From the grass, Six Green, Lanoon, Wingle, Electric, Manetric, um, and Techleon. Yeah, you can finally catch Manetrics in the wild. Which is the evolved form of Electric. Surfing, Tentacle, Wingull, and Pelipper. Fishing, Tentacle, Magikarp, Tentacle, Magikarp. <laughs> yeah, there's Tentacle, Magikarps, and Carvanas. Um, later on, if you get the good rod, um, I mean the super rod, you'll be able to catch Carvanas of all form, Sharpedo. There we go, let's just uh, finish off this battle. And there we go. That should be it from the camera crew. If you had Gabby and Ty are dead. Yep, I got it all. All those battles on camera. Isn't that just splendid? Babe, she remembered. She remembered my quote. Uh, I mean, you know what? I'm alright with Babe. So she'll list the battle again on TV, I'm pretty sure. So, And she'll say the word Babe. <laughs> so there you go. The kids watching that and hear the word Babe and they start saying it. Parents might be a bit angry, but don't blame me, blame the interviewers. They one wanted the interview in the first place. Anyway, I have some tentacles to be dealing with, and it's kind of annoying that they're not weak to grass. Um, due to them being part poison type, but anyway. It's pretty good if you actually are using a tentacle, and then it only be weak to psychic, ground, and electric. But anyway, quick switch, it, uh, switch out. Season gets to level 28. And next up is Kalvana. Here we go, you'll be able to see it now. Um, here he is. You know, you, you remember him now, hopefully. Um, but yeah, honestly. Pretty weird, because he evolved from Piranha into a shark. And I'm not like a sea biologist or anything, but I'm pretty sure that's not how things work. But anyway. Remember seeing the trailer for Piranha uh, 2D? And it is disgusting. Like, to not watch that. 
I remember watching it like a few years ago. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I know it's an old movie. I was just like scrolling through um, social media and then I just see that and I'm like, what the hell? It's like, I was disgusted. And then I went back to playing Black Ops 2. <laughs> anyway. Hi, Jeremy. It's me, Steven. We met in the cave near De Duford. Yeah, you know, this is Steven, very important guy. I probably shouldn't be skipping his text. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's just saying, you know, nice to see ya. <laughs> Steven's not as important in Emerald as he is in Ruby and Sapphire. Um, but I'm not going to say why, you'll just figure it out later on. Um, you know what, actually let's put Terrence up front. Yeah, here we go. And we have some battles. So if we go over to the left uh, from up here, I'm pretty sure we'll get like an item. But if we go straight up, um, that's actually where we need to be going. But if we go to the right then, it's just more battles. So I'll probably do that first. And his sprite looks pretty cute. <laughs> like his eye. Um, and his angle looks pretty cool. But anyways, <laughs> there's his first battle and he one-shots the Tylo. Now he'll probably two-shot the Swallow, but... Let's see how much he's gonna do. Right. Swallow's going for focus energy, so hopefully we can knock it out this turn. And hopefully he doesn't get the crit next turn if he does survive, yeah. Thought so. He don't get a crit. Yeah, I didn't think he would be able to kill us anyway, but you know what Cyber's uh Cyber's uh, happy to heal loss. Heal up! Jeez! Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of battles coming up. So I should probably have brought some revives on potions, but oh well. Uh, is there an item? Oh well, we can skip past the uh, cut tree. Oh, citrus berries! This is what you're able to see from the, um, uh, you know, gym leaders and everything, like the big boss fights. But anyway, uh, like in Diamond and Pearl, some of the trees actually look quite similar. Um, but the orange berries kind of look similar, petra berries, but... The citrus berries don't look alike at all to how they're doing Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> or Platinum. Terence takes down that Electric, and here we go. Hyper Potion. Not too bad. And let's go take on this dude. But we're going to fly elegantly in the sky. They're the best. Pretty much every bird trainer. You know, I'm just going to have swallows. So. Okay, never mind. We, this person actually got a wingle. We don't have an electric type, so we're not going to be able to kill this thing instantly. Um, so we're going to switch out to... We do have an electric type move. We have Shockwave. Now, hopefully... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't take out Lime here. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah! No! I was hopefully going for like a special move. But anyway. Let's go. Pretty much none of these... Um, bird keepers are gonna actually have a skarmory, so he's a bird that you should be going for. Even though he kind of looks more like an eagle, you know, an eagle still classes as a bird, right? Pretty sure it does. Anyway, literally just a wingle, and there it goes. Bird keeper Perry is down, and we shall continue on. We are avoiding all of these battles, and yep, yeah, no mind. This is this is the way, I'm pretty sure we can go both ways. Um, you know, let's actually hit up our map. I'm pretty sure we need to go up. Um, we can come back here later, but, you know, you can go both routes. Yeah, look, we need to be going up to get to where we need to be. And this is, you know, you can do this. And I'm pretty sure it's next to um, Mount Pyre, which we're going to be doing, like, a lot later on. Like, ten episodes, probably. Somewhere around that. Like, probably like six or something. Anyway. Let's just do up here for now. Now we have a route 119 and we don't have the stats up for this because I don't expect to get through the whole route this episode. Well, the whole of route 119, but anyway, here we go. We have a Bug Maniac Donald. A Bug Maniac Donald, like THE Bug Maniac Donald. Anyway, I accidentally went for uh, Magnitude and our first Magnitude is 8. So hopefully Terence is a pretty lucky dude. I've had nicknames in the past where like I give like a boy name to a girl and a girl name to a boy like an accident but imagine how weird it would be if Terence ended up being a girl like what? 
But hopefully this beautifier doesn't have the move Mega Drain or something. Just don't have a grass type move. Stun Spore counts as a grass type move, but you know. It's not gonna kill us or anything, but come on. Oh my god, it does have Mega Drain as well. No! Terence is only weakness. Literally. <laughs> Get out of here, you hater. There you go, take that, beautifully. Hot Coco just burns ya. Uh, there we go, the move Protect will protect your Pokemon for a turn. Could be used up to twice in a row. But, for the main game, that's not going to be very helpful to you at all, so... Don't give that to one of your Pokemon, unless you're like competitive battling. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. That guy had all of the uh, Beautify family. I say that because I would say Wormpool, but then you got Cascoon and stuff. But anyway, do we have a revive? I'm pretty sure we don't. Yeah, we literally don't have any. So hopefully we get a, re um, you know, a revive out of one of these chests. Chests! Pokeballs! What am I on about chests? What? This ain't Zelda. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is actually a rest house. Um, because it's kind of weird to just have a random house out in the middle of nowhere. Um, are you really not going to heal my Pokemon? But anyway, it's the Wingle house, I guess. Come on, you've got to heal my Pokemon. How oh, great. Isn't that just magnificent? There's another citrus berry tree over there. But anyway, we are going to continue. And as we get closer to Fur Tree, Fur Tree City... When we take down this trainer, I believe it's time to end off the episode. We got quite a lot done, like in terms of trainers and stuff. But yeah, next time we will hopefully head there. As these are some of the longest routes in the game coming up, including these two. You know, usually we'd be done a route by now, but you know. It's kind of after taking down Watson, the gyms got like, not the gyms, but the routes get like a lot larger. Especially these two, like these two are a lot bigger than uh, around uh, Mount Chimney, but anyway. With that, I'm going to be ending off the episode there, and next time, like I said, I will be taking us to Wall Street City. So with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.